Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that do not know me, my name is Cynthia. Today I am going to uh, have you guys get ready with me. And I'm also going to talk about my weight loss and um, how was it the most ideal way of me losing weight. So, um, yeah, that's as much of the intro I have for you. Um, so sit back, grab a snack, and let's jump into this. All right, jumping into this, welcome. So to start off with, you are going to hear me say keto diet in this video a lot, but bear with me and realize that the way I lost my weight was not with the keto diet at all. Um, it, it started out with it, but it took a drastic turn and it turned into something out of this world. So to start off with, I'm going to find my primer real quick. Found it. Uh, Support Professional Matte Rescue by Benefit. But um, at the beginning, like a midsummer, midsummer, David and I decided that we were going to start the keto diet. I've been seeing these crazy things about how the keto diet, keto diet has like helped people lose so much weight and we're like okay let's try it let's see what it's about and um so we change our lifestyle we go out and buy a whole bunch of food that we're supposed to we stay away from carbs and we stick to solely high fat little did i know that unfortunately my body does not do well with high fat and then all of a sudden, I was in pain. After I would eat, I'd be in pain for hours, for several hours. I felt, I felt like I had an ulcer of some sort in my stomach. And I'm like, okay. So luckily, well, we're at this diet for about two, three weeks. We haven't even been in, been in a month. And luckily I had a doctor's appointment and they asked, me if anything was new and I was like I'm for sure you're gonna say something just in case this is an ulcer so I said I'm been in a lot of pain I didn't even I don't even think I said that I started a new diet or anything I said I had been in a lot of pain I'm going in with the cover girl oh I'm sorry I'm gonna do my eyes first sorry I'm going in with my tart shape tape light sand and I'm just gonna my eyelids real quick and they they said what kind of pain where is it located and I told them it was right in my abdomen right where my stomach sits it's not like any further down like cramp kind of pain or anything like that and they're like okay we think you might have acid reflux and I'm like oh that's amazing <laughs> they I feel like a backwards raccoon now. There you go. I'm going with my tart shape tart yep. I'm going with my tart clay play palette, the original palette, and I'm gonna take these two colors right here. This desert and terracotta, and I'm gonna mix them together and I'm gonna apply it on my on my creases on my eyelids real quick. They prescribed me some medicine. And I started to take it, but yet we were continuing the keto diet because we d I didn't realize the high fat was what was causing the problem. So we continue the keto diet for I I want to say like a half a week, like four or five days. And I realized I'm still having the same pain. This isn't working. Like what's wrong? And I did some research and I looked up I said reflex problems and it was like high fats and everything like that that's when I decided to stop the keto diet and I was like this may be what is solely my problem 
I stopped the keto diet, everything like that. But unfortunately, it's still, my pain was still there. And I did more research. I did so much research on this. Like, it was insane. Like, this is, I breathed and ate this for like two days. Like, I did so much research. And it finally, like, I finally came across this article. Someone had said that they had cut their meals down to like literally like a third of the size of what they normally ate because our stomachs are actually so big like they're probably this this big and here I am putting a whole plate of, full of food in my stomach and my like acids are just like building up to where they cause me pain so I was like okay we're going a different route with this we're still staying off the keto diet but we're going to go smaller food portions so that's what I did and finally after like three days I finally stopped being in so much pain like I was miserable like I would cry and I felt like I was gonna throw up all the time like I knew I had to eat so I kept eating but at the same time like I was eating too much like there was just too much going on for my stomach to handle and I didn't know this. So, so after the few days of my smaller portions and everything, like I finally realized like, this is it, this is my problem, too much food. Like I'm eating perfect, like what I should be eating. Nothing high fat, nothing that I'm not supposed to. But like it was just a portion size. That's what was really bothering my stomach. And so here I am eating the correct portion size, uh, eating every three hours with this portion size, and like staying away from fats. Like we couldn't have like restaurant food, we couldn't have fat, like I couldn't have fast food. And then after the week of when I first started eating smaller portion size, that's when David stopped doing the keto diet. So, and he was doing good, he was doing really good, but it's hard to do that when one person is doing it. There's two people living in the house to make meals and do that sort of stuff and just keep a diet when the other person definitely can't do the same thing. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. I'll pop this on my eyelashes real quick. I'm going to stab myself in the eye. As you can tell, I am trying out something new. I'm trying out backdrops because I got tired of the gray-blue that I have in here. I've been thinking about repainting in here and just making it white. But I've been trying out backdrops. As you can see, something new. So I stepped away to do my lashes real quick and the sun decided to come out so I have a little bit extra lighting. I'm sorry if it looks weird. Um, got my lashes on. Now I'm gonna go in with my foundation with the CoverGirl Violet Healthy Elixir. And also the lashes that I use are the Ardell Demi Wispies. So back to where I was. Um, I lowered, I cut down on portion size and then after a couple weeks of doing this, I at the time I was still working out and everything. Well, I just started back back up working out because I was in so much pain that I couldn't work out. And I started working out, and I would get on the scale, and I noticed like I lost five pounds in a week, and I'm like, no way, no way. And then another week passes, and I realize that I lost like a. I'm sorry, the neighbor is practicing shooting his gun or something and sorry if you can hear it. So another five pounds is down and it's slowly realized, like it's slowly hitting me that the portion size I'm eating is like making me lose this weight so much faster. So I step back from working out I'm like, okay, I don't want to lose this much weight this, mu this fast because it's like... I just felt really unhealthy and it didn't feel right and 
but I was like, it's okay, we're gonna take a step back and we'll come back to this later. And then at the end of the month, I think I lost a total of 30 pounds, like that. Four weeks, 30 pounds, gone. So before I started the keto, keto diet and everything, I weighed 159 pounds. If you go back and look at some of my other videos, meh. If you go back and look at some of my other videos, you can tell that I, I did have a much bigger face compared to now, and especially a much smaller, a bigger neck than I do now. And right now, I just weighed myself this morning, I'm at 121 pounds, and I do not absolutely want to lose any more weight whatsoever, like I'm comfortable, like I've been trying to eat more, more like food to help me put on weight actually. Um, in all actuality, when I first started working out, like my goal is 135, that's what I weighed when I graduated high school. That's what I want to weigh now. That's all, that's all I want. And um, for like the past two months, I think it's been, I have weighed this 120 range. It's been, been like at 120 to 123. I think 123 is the highest I've seen it then. And I'm just trying to stay there. I've been trying to eat bigger portions of my body will let me. I'm no longer on medication, so that's a positive. That's like. I'm not a medication kind of person. I don't like to take medication. Um, in this process, they did up my dosage when I noticed I was still in pain. So unfortunately, I, well, the positive side of this, fortunately, I did lose weight, but the negative effect, uh, the negative uh, view I see this as is I did not lose it a healthy way. I didn't lose it the way I wanted to lose it. I wasn't able to work out like I wanted to do like how I wanted to lose this weight and that kind of makes me sad about this whole thing is that I don't get the satisfaction out of losing my weight and some people are like oh my goodness good for you but at the same time it's I'm not happy with the way I lost it I know that I am healthier in the long run I am like I have my acid reflux under control and I am able to eat fast food again we can go out to restaurants and eat now I've been able to dip into more fattier foods I've been able to enjoy those again I, we were just having donuts this morning and last night but I definitely don't plan on uh, losing any more weight if anything I want to put more weight on I think I'm too thin a lot of people say that I look too skinny and stuff like that, but in all actuality, I look really good. I've never looked this good before, and it was just a really crappy way of um, losing the weight. It wasn't my ideal way. I know everybody wanted to hear how I lost the weight, and that is how. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't the most, the most the most healthiest way that I could possibly imagine it to be. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm dipping in the Gilded Gold Ulta palette with one of my Vanity Planet brushes, the one that has the nice little angle to it. I'm just filling my brows in real quick. And I just wanted to cl clarify, if I haven't said this before, this is definitely not the healthiest way to lose weight. Lo losing weight in that, like, dr dr like, drastic way. Like, losing so much weight, like, within the month, like, 30 pounds, like, it's definitely, definitely not, like, okay at all. Like, you should be losing, like, probably five to maybe ten ten pounds in a month definitely definitely not 30 and also I just want to say if I haven't said this um no way am I a doctor no way I am saying go out and do this I'm just sharing my story about how I lost my weight and like 
how it was such a negative effect on my life and it was it was scary it was um an eye opener and it just tells me that like every diet out there isn't made for every single person like each person has their own dietary restrictions each person has their own like like way that they need to like handle their weight to losing weight and then there needs to be a healthy way about it not a negative way about it I know I have read before I started the keto diet I had read a lot of um, positive and healthy like results that like people were able to lose the weight and like live the life that they wanted to live and they were in pain and like the weight helped them like be able to move better and be able to like get them back to a healthy place but if you plan on doing the keto diet I suggest you don't go full dive into it like slowly go into it and if you notice any pain whatsoever go to your doctor have it checked out tell them if you start a new diet I didn't tell my doctor that I started a new diet and I probably should have the reason I decided to make this video I want every everybody has been continuing to ask me how I've lost my weight and I just want everybody to be like aware and like hey this keto diet isn't cut for everybody like take your time and like losing that weight and take your time like putting in the effort to lose the weight like eat healthy like like do it do it the right way you know how you always see the only way to lose weight is it like actually putting in the time putting in the work putting putting in the effort not just like by eating certain foods because you don't know the side effects you don't know how it's going to affect you I'm going in with my next dewy finish and I'm going to give it a nice spritz over before I start setting my face and doing my contour and stuff like that. I need to fix my deep bags real quick. I'm going to set my face with the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. This you can get in any Walgreens now. I walked into like several different Walgreens and there's always this and it's so nice like for the longest time I wanted it I know it. for the longest time I wanted to order some more wine and I was like it's just too much for shipping and then I walked into a walking one day and I see it and I'm like mine mine I had to get it and I've been loving it ever since for um those that have watched me before, I'm going to dip it in and I'm going to tap off any excess powder as you can see now. I try to get as much of it as I can off because I don't like a cakey face. It just dries your face out and that's what makes it oily and brings that, um, brings the oil to the surface and it makes you look like you sweated through your makeup within two hours. Um, we're going in with our face powder. I tap as much as it much as I can off and then I lightly go in and I pat it in real quick and then I'm going to do some circling motion and I found that if you do this you get like more of a fresh yes more of a fresh look more of a finished uh, look your makeup looks more finished And then also, if you guys haven't heard the news, David and I got engaged September 29th of this year, 2018. And we have been planning a wedding. And I posted a video last week saying that I would take a step back and enjoy the little things about this wedding. But I've had so much time off of work on top of this whereas before we first got engaged like there was absolutely no time i was working 10 hours a week or 10 hours a day 10 hours a day like 50 hours a week almost 60 and working weekends so i've been having weekends off so i have a little bit more time and i've been like itching to record like i'm at work and i'm like i want to go home and record i want to go home and record like let me go home and like record if there's any videos any any of you guys want to See, like if you want me to review something or anything like that like 
leave it in a comment like message me like on instagram or something let me know with the same two shades that i did my eyelids with that's what i'm going to do my contour with and i'm going to take my from a brush 103 my contour brush i use this for contouring i don't know if it is or not and then also i've been starting my contour a little bit high like before i do it like right about here i've been taking it up a little bit and for some reason i've been liking that a lot better now i'm going to go in with uh, my nyx dewy finish again just to set in my powder to make sure it's it holds on and nice that way it holds on nice and long for a long time and now for my highlighter i'm gonna use a morphe high impact highlighter illuminator in extra because <laughs> we all know that i'm extra i'm going to go in with my milani number 10 in adorable my other darker one that matches my eyeshadow is out in my car. <laughs> I don't want to go outside. It's their Amore Matte Lip Cream Collection. 